And there was something else which I shall recite to you, which is not generally known. I walk camp, one of the camps, I don't know if it was Buchenwald or Flossenburg or Evensee or Mauthausen. Um, it may have been Flossenburg. The camps were basically the same. Uh, I come in to the Schreibstube of the office. We got into the camp and uh, he said, I've been waiting for you. So he says, come with me. So he takes me out to the electrified fence, which surrounded all these camps. If anybody touched the fence, they got electric shock, would kill them. Um, and uh, he had a shovel with him, and he dug up next to the fence. He knew where he was digging. He dug up a box. And in the box, there were little cards. See if I got something like that. Like, almost like a passport. And the, SS officers, the stormtroopers, uh, had a club. And when you came to the club meeting, you, they put a stamp in this little book. And when the book was filled with stamps, they gave you a new book. And you, the guy in charge of the deco was an inmate. Uh, they usually were inmates, they worked with them by inmates. Um, instead of giving them a new book and throwing away the old one, he saved the old one. And he put it away. Now, every time he did that, he took his life in his hands because they would have killed him right on the spot, right there. If they ever saw him hold the book, they would have put a gun to his head and blown his brains out. And he had a whole box of these cards. And I knew the names and the photograph of all the SS guards who'd been in that camp for the last year or two. Invaluable piece of evidence, you know. So. What impressed me was here's a guy who was risking his life a hundred times, knowing that one day there'd be a day of reckoning. And I was that day. Uh, so, never give up, always have hope. Uh, he was hoping that one day there would be a day of reckoning and that was the evidence I got from that case. After May 8, 1945, myself and my father traveled as much as we could by horse and buggy, by, 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 by some trains, back to Krakow to look for any remnants of our family. We didn't find any. They took us by train and they took us back to France, which was completely liberated where we had fought. And I found a synagogue still standing there, stone building, beautiful edifice, but the inside was gutted out. As I was standing there, a Frenchman came up to me with three little girls. I believe the ages were eight, 10, and 12 at that time. He gave me to remember him by the actual yellow star of David, the cloth that he had to wear when the Nazis took over France. Every Jewish person, young and old, had to wear the yellow star of David, piece of cloth sewn to their, what they wore, and it says on it, Jewif, which means Jew. I treasure this. <laughs>